The Wearis Question Editor can be used for questions where the teacher would like to have my class text grade the question automatically. These question types include multiple choice, short answer, and true-false questions. The Wearis Question Editor can also be used to input questions, including math or chemical expressions or equations, for open-ended and essay questions that are graded by the teacher. These questions would be graded using the Essay Grading Tool. When composing a question using the Weirus Question Editor, you can input text, which can then be formatted using the Format drop-down menu. You can click on the square root icon to input mathematical expressions or equations. The Weirus Editor will open in a separate pop-up window. I invite you to spend some time exploring the different tabs across the top of the Wearis Editor. The choices of symbols found are really quite extensive, making it possible for my class text to be used in teaching any of the STEM courses. By clicking on what looks like the stylized uppercase C on the top right of the Wearis Editor, chemistry teachers can access the entire periodic table of elements. Do this by clicking on the small faint arrow on the lower right of the H2O tab. Scrolling and clicking with your cursor over the different elements in the periodic table will result in the name of the element being shown and the element being inserted into the question. Students use the scientific editor to input answers in the same manner. If you want to use the Weirus Editor's ability to automatically grade students' answers, then start by clicking on the small yellow icon next to the Correct Answer field. With the Correct Answer tab selected, input the correct answer, including any special symbols such as percent or degrees. The Validation tab is used to select the allowed input. It can be either general, quantity, or text. Clicking the Options drop-down arrow further explains the differences between these choices. For example, if the percent symbol is part of the answer, then using quantity is the best choice since the percent symbol is one of the units available to be included in the allowed input. Notice that the general input type is reserved for formulas, expressions, equations, matrices, etc. The text input is reserved for the automatic grading of short answers or open-ended questions consisting of words, sentences, or strings. Under comparison with student answer, one may specify the number of digits of tolerance, whether the answer needs to be literally equal, mathematically equal, or equivalent equations. I do not use and have not explored the Variables tab, which requires the installation of a Java plugin. In my use of the Weirus Editor, I have decided not to attempt the use of algorithmically generated questions. Instead, I advocate the use of what I call question families, which are obtained by copying questions, which can then be renamed using similar names and numbers. These question families can be used to create replacement homework questions, as well as being used in quizzes and tests. The use of question families in homework, quiz, and test assignments is covered in the course sections videos. After inputting a correct answer, the preview tab can be used to check to see the various forms of the correct answer that will be marked correct. The answer can be changed and then tested by clicking the Test button. The validation is used to grade the answer according to the different parameters that were selected under the Validation tab. These items can be adjusted by clicking back and forth between the Correct Answer, Validation, and Preview tabs. When you are satisfied with the correct answer and the different parameters for grading the student's answers, then click the Accept button located at the lower left-hand side of the page. Next, select the editor required for the answer. The general editor may be used for 
text answers, and simple arithmetic answers. I routinely use a scientific editor for any question which requires the answer to be in a specific format or include special symbols. Finally, click the Save button to save the question.